Hey guys, what's up? I'm here to give you guys a recap on the new episode of Tower of God, which is on episode 12. Well, <laughs> this episode right here, especially that ending, what the hell? <laughs> I was, my own curiosity spoiled me, you know, not to mention, like, um, a friend of mine, well, never mind. Anyways, um, let's just say curiosity really destroyed me, and then just seeing it, oh my gosh, man, I'm just, like, bl blown away. Let's just get this started. I'm gonna focus on one part, and then another part, and then the last part so it's gonna be a little disorganized but i think it might be better if i do it that way let's get to the part with like um with kun and his other teammates taking on the goblins and the worms you know we have to it that kun had a strategy where like um, he was able to like um stop the pigs from like um going to where the sea otters are at you know the one with the nets and all that and manages to block the debris and this is where like um the worms will later on suck up the pigs and the pigs will later on be blown out of the ground or into the sky or where the goblins are at and they end up fighting each other but not before we see some comedic scenes where they all can end up where rock and the other guy park kill power kill whatever his name is ends up being chased by, down by them, you know, that kind of thing. And later on, there's a bunch of spears to be thrown at the worms and all that. But, yeah, that's one part. But another part involved in here was Kun meeting someone that looks like him. But it looks like to me this guy seems to be a little bit stronger than Kun, as he warns Kun that you don't stand a chance against me. He does tell Kun and offers to help him to go see someone known as Princess Maria, which might be someone connected to Kun when... Of what is revealed in the backstory, you know, of Kun himself. But um, aside from that, um, we get to know a little bit more about, like, um, what you may call it, about Kun, you know. I mean, this guy seems to be connected with him, and Kun's goal is to go higher up than the Kun family or something, you know. But not before their their conversation gets interrupted by Hat, you know, the guy that's a swordsman, you know, that kind of thing. But aside from that, nothing much has happened around, uh, some stuff have ha has happened around there, along with the goblins and worms and then the pigs, you know. But, um, couldn't meeting this guy that looks similar to him with the same blue colored hair, but a little bit more of a slim figure or something like that. But aside from that, there's a scene where, like, um, you know, Indorshi and Anaka... They apparently decide to team up with each other and take on the freaking, like, rice ball guy, which I don't care much about, honestly. Because here's what happened. We have to it that eventually the rice ball guy pushes Endorsi aside and is about to kill Anak. But apparently Yuri shows up thanks to, like, um, Shibisu's guiding, guiding help whatsoever. And she later on decides to take on the rice ball when she tells him to get the hell out, you know? But we have to it that, um... The rice ball ends up summoning some fish and goes after Princess J Yuri, but apparently it, she she did not feel anything at all. And we get to see her real power in action. I'm like, oh my gosh, man, what the blazing pickles, man! She's not some. The way we look at it, she's not just some simple like um spoiled brat. She's actually a warrior or rank of Princess Princess Jihad, you know. Not only that, um. She ends up having one of her subordinates take out the rice ball when he's off guard and then he gets slammed down to the ground by his giant hammer. But we also have to it that Yuri Yuri will later on take back the Black March and the Green April and tells um Anak like um if you want to get it back, find out how to use it properly next time, okay? And therefore Yuri was told that like um Bam will later on be be attacked by the bull or have the bull sent to him because he can't let a regular live and then he dies out with his last breath. Although Yuri is about to destroy this test, we have to that the administrator says, no, if you interfere with this test, bomb will fail. I will tell you that right now. And we have to that Yuri on the other hand was told that bomb will get things done and he'll be fine, you know, because that's what he is. We have to that Yuri decides to give Shibisu a little small feather looking like thing or something and tells Shibisu give that to Bomb and tell him to meet me on the 77th floor which I go like oh wow this is gonna be one hell of a time you know but aside from that the next part I'll talk about the final part is where like um 
Bomb and Rachel take on the bull. Well, Bomb will be the one taking on the bull. While well, there are other scenes with like um, Lero Ro and then the administrator Han Sung or something, the guy in the blondie, the test administrator kind of thing. Although like um, Han Sung does talk with like one of Yuri's um, navigators, you know. Although one of Yuri, Yuri's navigators, the guy with the backpack, ends up seeing a girl in red hair and says, "Huh, what's she doing here?" You know that kind of thing. But aside from that, um. There's another scene being involved, like I said, going back to Bomb and Rachel, sorry for being very disorganized here and there. We have to it that Bomb will struggle to face against the bull, but will later on use his own hidden power, Shinzu, and destroys the bull. Eventually, when Bull and Rachel were, about, were being sucked up, Rachel, Bomb was about to like, um, was really happy that they're going up to this, was about to go up together. But Rachel, when Bomb was trying to shake hands with her, she pushes him off, dude. I'm like, what the hell? My, etc. I'm like, wow, dude. And this is where a lot of people who are Webtoon readers are pretty much saying, oh, you better be prepared, man. I mean, I can't wait to see what your reaction is going to be. And this right here, gosh darn it, what the heck? I pray there'll be another adaptation coming up soon because there is no way, and I mean no way in heck, that I am not going to be satisfied with that along next week being the final episode. I better pray that there's another adaptation coming up, otherwise I will flip and I will go read the webtoon if I have to, man. Darn, what the hell? <sighs> uh. Why, dude? Why? So until then, people, I'll see you guys in the next video. And, you know, y Yoru or Bomb is falling into the sea into his death. We don't even know where he's going to be at, but I don't know. So until then, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time, all right? Peace out. Bye-bye.